Hi, this session is going to focus on open access publication and initiative. Open access is a provision through which we can access and download and read maximum number of information or scholarly communication for our day-to-day -day academic life. So, this open access provision is created to cope up with two situations. Number one, Digitization, which causes overload of information, and number two, increasing price of scholarly communication, which is really very high for this academic world. So now, concentrating on the terminology openness, so we can avail openness by six terms. Number one, in terms of accessibility, we can access maximum number of information or resources in 24 into 7 mode from the web itself in open platform. So it is accessible and it is accessible in 24 into 7 modes that is openness in time then pace. We can avail this such kind of information on resources in any place, any pace, any time and irrespective of that we can have that information irrespective of different kind of programming and from different people. So people or the community so anyone can having the information resources at any time so such kind of openness is talking about with the terminology of openness to achieve the equity and or the equitable quality education for all we are not talking about the terminology equality we are giving the most emphasis on the equity because equity is fairness in every situation whereas equality is giving people the same thing it is all same thing for all people what we found in our day-to-day -day life that requirement of the users for the resources is sporadic by their nature and different and various by their nature to meet all the expectation or the all requirements, we definitely have to have the equitable quality education or such kind of system within our academic system. So this is the terminology. So openness in terms of legal, economical and social barrier less thing. So Openness does not have any barrier in terms of legalities, in terms of economical aspect or in terms of social aspect. So in case of legal, it is a copyright free accessing all resources which have already an open licensing system which really does not require the different issues which are relevant with the copyright law. So it is legally free. Then economically free. We are fetching or you are, we are accessing or downloading documents without giving any cost. It is freely available in the website. And in thus way, we can definitely touch the academic integrity. We can meet the academic integrity. We can maintain the academic integrity. So openness in terms of legal, economical and social value. It is barrier free. Second one, openness in terms of standard, software and system. We all know that having an open standard, open source software and entire system under the open access practices, it makes really feel good to have the resources and to work with the resources. And we have different kind of educational resources, courses, asset assessments, journals, such kind of things under the terminology of openness which ensures universal participation, reuse and redistribution and availability and access to achieve sustainable development 2030, equitable quality education for all, access to information for all and democratization of knowledge. So now well known about the terminology open access and with the term open access what we are going to focus on. Open access is a philosophy generated from 
three very important initiative number one the budapest open access initiative number two bethesda and the berlin statement so as per the budapest open access initiative open access to this literature that means of its free availability on the public internet permitting any users of this to read download copy redistribute print search or link to the full text article crawl them for indexing pass them as data to software and use them for any other lawful purpose without any financial legal or technical barrier other than those inseparable from gaining access to the internet itself so this kind of budapest open access initiative that has been again filtered in the bethesda berlin statement where the statement says that user must be able to copy use distribute transmit and display the work publicly and to make and distribute derivative works in any digital medium or any responsible purpose subject to proper attribution of authorship each and every word is very much important by the using different color you can see that that the green color copy use distribute transmit and display the work publicly giving the impetus on the provision of the gratis it is a gratis provision and to make and distribute derivative work in any digital medium or any responsible purpose it is for the libre open access so two flavors are already embedded in the bethesda and berlin statement this is very important in one case the initiatives has removed the barrier to access and on another way the barrier has been removed in terms of free to use and the reuse and to create a new content with the acknowledging the actual author so such kind of gratis and libre open access flavors are there which makes the open access very much strengthened and very much stronger these are milestone towards open access i am not uh, going to uh, directly say the thing very much important is budapest open access in initiative bethesda statement on open access publishing berlin declaration on open access to knowledge in the science and humanities then open educational resources cape town open education Decla declaration and all so such kind of different initiatives taken up from the initiation of this provision we have different flavors under the umbrella term of open source practice or open so open access initiatives like open access journal open collaboration open content open communication open data definition design education educational resources gaming patents research open source software even open governance and open source hardware open standard etc so all such kind of connotations actually create a umbrella term that is open access initiatives which penetrates the provision of open access publishing so open access publishing it has two flavor number one we want to publish our documents or our national work national thoughts through the journals as article so in that case we we may follow two paths one is gold open access another one is green open access gold open access is all about to publish in a journal and green open access is talking about the self archiving so in case of gold route just you have to identify a suitable journal then you have to submit your paper to peer review then accepted article may charge you apc that is article processing charge and your paper is published in oe journals this is the uh, clear cut route which is following by the gold open access path and for the green route again you have to start with the choosing a suitable journal then you see you have to submit your paper after extend acceptance of the paper submit your paper to an open repository which gives you the impetus actually here we can link share paromio project in next uh, session i will definitely focus on the so share paromio initiatives so here after acceptance of the paper submit your paper to an open repository then it is it must be retrieval via via google and 
through which you can get more visibility, more impact uh, would be counted for your work. So this is the a simple route of the green open access. In case of publishing, open access publishing, just you have to find a suitable open access journal. So how you could proceed with this process? First of all, you have a ready-made kind of thing like directory of open access journal, which are the good quality of articles in 80 languages from 130 countries and 12,547 journals without APC, just think about it, without any article process in charge, such number, a good number of journals are there. They are writing your nation thoughts, your article, your work to publish. And 18,121 journals are there with more than 7 lakh article resources. And the most important thing is you can even find open access journal on the basis of the title on its ISSN number with the help of the subject field and the publisher. So this is the wonderful platform on which and through which we can step into the world of open access initiatives. We can step into the open access publication. E-Life, that is a wonderful journal which publishes well, open access journals in different field of science. We have opening scholarly communication in social science. It is also a social science initiative with the aim of increasing open communication in all steps of the publishing process. And opening scholarly communication in the social science actually concentrating on such kind of model. Here you can see it's derived from the website uh, of the Creative Commons. The, here you can see that uh, collaborative writing, structured annotations, authors, readers, reviewers, they are playing a great role and they are creating a wonderful submission procedure, final publication of the entire journal. Such kind of model actually giving us the clear picture how we could proceed with the open access publishing procedure. Open Library of Humanities is also a non-profit publisher for the humanities itself. We have directory of open access books. Here we can even, so this kind of actually initiatives, we can even publish with the help of this uh, kind of initiative and even we can access with the help of directory of open access journal, directory of open access book, thesis and publish uh, dissertation platform. So just you can see 10,650 academic peer reviewed books and chapters from 254 publishers actually indexed here. SSOAR which is a discipline specific repositories focusing on the social science. Zendo. So, it assigned a digital object identifier which is very much discoverable and citable for the open general. It's a one kind of general open access repository. We have directory of open access repositories through which we can even download, we can use, we can upload, we can publish different our scholarly communication. Another great aggregator that is connecting repository, that is core, it is really doing a good job in the world of open access. Lots of papers, open access research paper are there. So we can have the information. We have open access thesis and dissertation. Here you can see resources from 1100 colleges all over the, from all over the world uploaded here. And we can have the information from this base, Belfield search engine. It's also a wonderful source for to achieve, to access, to download open access documents or resources from the core of the core uh, paper and not only that registry of open access repositories which this directs you the different kind of facilities different kind of clause of open access initiatives we have online library of publication platform which holds freely accessible academic books we're focusing on humanities and social science we have different type of open source software Licenses,
open standard. and different kind of which actually makes a popular free and open source software to use. With the help of the open format, we can use this. We have open educational resources so that we can reuse, revise, remix, redistribute and retain all document for the academic world and we can definitely create and generate and run a new other uh, entire course with the help of the MOOCs. So such kind of things we have and through which we can publish our material, we, through which we can access our material and download our material for the academic purpose. Thank you.